Grant, you miss, miss a couple early threes there. You may said he told you to let it fly. What was kind of your mindset after you missed some early ones and got going? Yeah, it's, it's tough to, you know, get in your own head when your entire team, like 15 people, walk up to you and say, let it fly, keep shooting. So um, for me, it was just like, all right, they're, they're encouraging it. Like, might as well take advantage. So um, each one, as time went on, got more comfortable, kept kept shooting. And then uh, I guess I <laughs> he may made a joke, I shot 18. And that's most probably threes I've shot in my life in a single game. So uh, it, was, it was fun. But... Um, it's just great that we got a win. Feel different shooting those in a game seven? Yeah, I feel like it's just a little bit more like just your excited. I feel like your excitement gets the best of you sometimes. So like the first one I shot was calm and quick, but the other I kind of rushed. So as I settled in, I kind of just able to knock down, took my time on the shots, and and not really rushed them. You know, if, even if guys were flying at me, still took my time and, and knocked them down. Seemed like they kind of decided they were going to dare you to shoot. What did you think about the defensive strategy against you? Yeah, um, I feel like they were just trying to make adjustments uh, throughout the series. They've tried to adjust, whether it was on Al, whether they put Giannis on him, then they put Brooke on me, and just trying to figure out what's best for them. And originally, it started to work a little bit, but then I started making shots, so they had to switch it up. They put, I think, Pat Connors or somebody else on me. So um, it was just a matter of if that's how they want to play it. Um, I've, I've worked on my shot enough to be able to knock those down and be confident enough to shoot them. And I think my teammates know if I get, I guess, 18, I'll make 40% out of them at least. So um, it was just a matter of continuing to, to execute what we wanted to do, get those open looks, and take advantage of them. Grant, what did you maybe learn about your guys or what kind of message was sent, in particular with how you guys closed these last two games and, and today, especially where it looked like they started to wear down whenever things really got rolling in the fourth? Yeah, it was just we knew we were going to persevere. We knew we have a group that is uh, going to accept adversity. And for us, it was just a matter of staying consistent. Um, we, we hadn't put a full game together this entire series. So uh, we, we just said, like, why not now? Why not put it all together? And I think we had them two 17-point quarters when we, we had a good uh, offensive night shooting it. So uh, we just did what we were supposed to do uh, originally and just tried to execute um, what we, we tried to do the whole time. Hey, Grant, you know, in a different time in the NBA, somebody with your build wouldn't be asked to sort of camp out from the three-point line. And I know in college you shot, you know, 29% from there. How much work has gone into becoming the 3 and D impact player that you are? Yeah, um, it's just a lot of work from the guys that I've, I've been around, whether it's my coaches and staff at Tennessee, coaching staff here in the Celtics. Um, something that I knew that I'd have to add to my arsenal to expand and, con and be consistent in this game and to play at this level. So um, it's just a matter of the years that I've, I think, spent and shots that I've taken. And also credit to the people that have really supported and helped and along that way, whether it was Brandon Bailey from the Celtics past season, my coach, all the way up to Evan Braz now, who's with me now. So um, it's just a matter of giving credit to where credit's due for them and also um, kind of accepting it for yourself. Grant, you, you had a few games there where you struggled with the shot. Um, how much of the physical defense that you were asked to play played into that? And how were, you, how were you able to kind of work your way through, almost like in real time through this game, to, to kind of break out of it? Yeah, I think uh, I would say that it was more so I, I was too focused on the defensive side, and I wasn't shooting it. It wasn't even I feel like I was struggling with the shot. It's just like I shot, I think, three times last, two times last game, one time the game before, or something like that, because I was shot picking a lot. So that's why the t coaches, staff, and the teams just said, encouraged me to shoot it. Like, you're open, like, take advantage of that. If they put a brook on you, take advantage of it. And um, that's, that's what I tried to do tonight, and it had success with it. And um, it was a, a great challenge to guard a guy like Giannis, and it's a tremendous like, effort for not only myself, but the team. But um, it was just an exciting, exciting time to be able to say that tonight was the night we had success. Ime said that he was expecting you to probably crow about some of the Steph Curry records. Have, have you already started talking in the locker room? No, nah, not at all. I just laughed because I, uh, he said it, and I said, we're both from Charlotte, so it must be a thing. But um, it was just, it's just cool to be able to say, like, I remember they told me that I think I tied the record or something like that in game seven. I don't know what it was. but. Um, I felt like that's just like pretty cool to be like kind of happy about, and I guess I have to forget about it tomorrow because we got to get ready for the Heat. Grant, as as all the three pointers that were going in tonight, it seemed like the most emotion we saw on the court was when you stopped that Bobby layup late in the fourth. What about that play? Just brought all like brought the most emotion out of you uh, throughout the whole night. Yeah, um, Bobby. If you know, like especially if you know him, you know how competitive he is. You know how. 
um, aggressive and like how he's going to play to the final whistle. So it was one of those moments that like you kind of have as a kid where you're both lining each other up and one of you is going to dunk on the other and the other one's going to block it. Like so it was one of those moments where like I remember I forget who was behind me, but I kind of gave up on whoever was behind me and just tried to make a play at the rim. And when I got the block, I just kind of was super excited, celebrating it, and like really, really like pumped because uh, looking back and you, over the years of your career, you've had moments like that where it's gone the other way. You've had moments where you've got that block. So uh, especially for Bobby, like how competitive he is, we were able to talk about it afterwards. It was, it was a great moment. Grant, 7.44 left in the third quarter. Jason picks up his fourth. Felt like the rest of that quarter was going to be a swing moment one way or the other. How did you guys not only maintain the lead, but build on the lead while he was out on the bench? Yeah, it was just by execution. We knew that we had to get back in transition to keep them off the break. That's how they score against us. And they guard them in the half court. And then guys made big plays and big shots. JB played phenomenally. Al Peyton made a lot of tough shots in, that, in those moments. Um, it was just uh, a team overall effort because we knew with Jason out, we're going to have to kind of shift how we, we do what we do. But we've done it before, and Jason T has all the utmost confidence in us. So we were just kind of excited to be able to play, and, and he was cheering us on along the way. And that was something that, like, when you look across the team, like, that's a special thing to have, especially on the Celtics where he, this kind of love and brother, brother, brotherly like love here has been so special. Hey, Grant, Ime told us he felt that you guys were finally starting to grind Giannis down here tonight. Is that something you also felt? And if not, what did you feel or sense from him just in that second half? Yeah, um, I feel like it was a bang, bang series, you know? Everybody was banged up. Everybody was playing intent intensely. And it was a matter of who wavered first. And I feel like we did a great job of just making sure that everything he had was tough, whether it was driving to the rim, whether it was shooting a jumper, like everything that he had to do, walking up to court, even deep of actions, putting them in him. So, um, whether or not he wavered, I don't know. I have to look back to the film because Ime has a better understanding than I do. But um, we definitely did a good good job on him to just make it tough on him out every single play, every single night. Grant, did you walk into the locker room and tell everyone to call you Batman? Is that, bring that back? I, I, I didn't bring it back. I said if it gets labeled, I, I feel like then, then it would be exciting. But until somebody else says it, I'm just going to stop. I'm going to stop. Could you have imagined this? I mean, this kind of performance, you know, even a year ago, last season when you were battling for playing time to be able to come out here in a game seven and step up like you did. Yeah, I knew um, just from, it's not the same thing, but the bubble from my rookie year, game seven, I knew how kind of intense that was and being thrown in fourth quarter after not playing and then getting that stop and block on Van Vliet and all this. I remember going through those emotions. So I was like, that's kind of how this night's going to be. Like, you have to be prepared for not only the highs, but the lows. and. Uh, if you asked me last year, uh, I'd probably be head down, you know, keep it moving. But uh, I, I think the work that I put in over the past year and a half, two years, three years I've been in the league has helped me be in this position. It's glory not only to, to, to God in that sense, but also uh, to everyone around me. Yeah, you brought up the bubble. Are you guys looking for a little redemption against this Miami team? Yeah, we played them in the conference finals uh, my rookie year. Um, this is I to be able to play against this team now. Um, similar kind of makeup where they have Bam and Jimmy and the physical guys. They had a PJ. Um, they have a lot of toughness on that team, and they actually, they shoot the ball well. So um, we'll have to be able to lock in and focus in on their on our game plan against them in this game and we'll watch some of their film they had in this past series against Philly. So um, it's just going to be exciting to be able to kind of run it back against them, especially cool with is, fans in the, in the arenas. That's true. How cool is it for you and Bam to be able to, I mean, reignite this battle that you guys have had since you were much younger? It's always great. Um, I always take it like love the competition we've had from high school to college to NBA. Like it's super, super dope to just be able to say we've, we've made it this far. So now it's just a matter of battling again and, and kind of going against one another for, for like what, the 12 or maybe more times. So um, it'll be fun. Grant, uh, two quick ones. How, physically, how do you feel after guarding Giannis for seven games? I mean, just it's that that could be like a, a mini series. The the contact you took, how are you feeling? 
Oh, first, um, I'd be not, I'd be dumb to say that I don't feel like a little banged up, but everyone does at this time of the year. And it's one of those things you just have to take care of yourselves and get ready for another physical series because the Miami group is physical too. So uh, Giannis does a, a phenomenal job of putting pressure on you, especially on the physical side of things. But it's just a matter of understanding that you have to be mentally strong and, and take care of yourself because at this time of the year, everyone's banged up a little bit. So you got to persevere through it. And after game five, everyone said, hey, we can do it, we can come back. But what made you guys really believe you could? Because that's just, you, you could just say that, but you guys actually did it. Yeah, um, for us, we knew that we, we would beat ourselves in those losses. Like each game that we, we played that we lost, we felt like we beat ourselves. Versus the games where we felt like we did everything, like we just kind of executed and took care of the ball and all this other stuff, we knew we were going to have success. So we just said we have to be better at execution and, and understanding that we, we, we can't beat ourselves these last two games. And we did a good job of not only staying strong and mentally strong through the ups and downs, but also did a great job of executing down the stretch.